Hey there, Jack speaking. In this video, I'll show you how you can use Shopify's built in Buy X Get Y automatic discount feature to offer a free gift. I built this setup for Drop Bear Coolers. They sell insulated cooler bags, and when customers purchase a bag, they wanted to offer a free drink bottle as a gift. Drop Bear Coolers didn't want to use an app since most third party apps aren't compatible with card drawer. When apps add the free gift to cart, they reload the page, which is annoying and creates a poor user experience. Additionally, they wanted the free gift to be added to the customer's cart automatically. I started by creating a Shopify automatic discount using the buy x get y discount type. This allowed the store to offer customers a free item when they purchased a specific product. For instance, bag. According to Shopify's discount rule, customers must add the quantity of items specified below to their cart, meaning customers had to manually add the free bottle to their cart and quantity must match for the discount to apply. According to DropBear's requirements, they didn't want customers to manually add items. Instead, they wanted the free item to be added automatically when someone purchases any item from the cooler collection. Let's see it in practice. According to the discount rule, if customers buy any item from the cooler collection, they get the bottle as a free gift. So, we'll need the collection data and all products within this collection so that we can take action whenever any item from this collection is added to the cart. To simplify things, I created a custom API endpoint within Shopify without requiring external APIs. Then I use JavaScript's async await to call this endpoint asynchronously. Let me explain what is going on here. We start by listening for the product Ajax added event. This event fires every time a product is added to the cart. Inside the event handler, we grab the handle of the product that was just added to the cart. We also define the handle of the free gift item, which in this case is a water bottle. We then call our fetch coolers function, which fetches all products in the coolers collection. Once we have the data, we check if the product that was just added is part of that collection. If the product is in the coolers collection, we fetch the current cart contents. Then we check if the discount product is not in the cart, add it. After adding the discount product, we dispatch a custom event called cart refresh. This tells the rest of the theme to update the cart UI so the customer sees the new item right away. If you're a marketing agency or business owner in need of a tech partner to handle technical tasks like web design, development, and automation, feel free to reach out. The link will be in the description. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks.